Hello and welcome to our thrifty, frugal and money-saving home here in Brittany in northwest France. My name is Jane, my husband Michael's behind the camera, we're early retirees, debt and rub tree and we live off our pension. And we live a thrifty and frugal life. Let's take a look at what we've got up to this week. Now we've been at this thrifty, frugal and money saving game for some years now and we've kind of amassed just everyday habits that save us money every single day. And when I had a look around our house, I suddenly thought, what is it in our house, in our home, that saves us money? So today, I'm gonna to share with you 15 essential items for a frugal home. Let's take a look at them. Well, a frugal must-have has got to be your own means of making coffee. Get the old coffee machine out, or in this case, this is a mocha pot. It's an Italian coffee pot. And it's just the way we make our coffee. So we can make our espresso, we can make our cafe long, our long big black cups of, cups of black coffee, or make our espresso coffee. And we just heat our milk in the microwave. So there's a really important thing to have in your frugal toolkit. It's your own means of making your own coffee because you're not buying it. More essentials for every frugal home going left to right and clockwise. We have got aprons. Keep yourself clean when you're cooking. Wear an apron. Back left. Table serviettes, fabric of course. All of those are bought from charity shops that get used over and over and over. Back right, tea towels. We're not using paper towels, we're using tea towels. We're washing them, we're drying them outside or we're drying them on in front of the fire. And then we've got a whole load of old rags and cloths and these are bathroom flannels and all of those. They're, all of these are used for cleaning, saves a ton of money get yourselves a load of reusable cloths, stop using paper products, save yourself a whole ton of money. The next essentials in your toolkit for a frugal home will be some kind of lunch boxes, some kind of drink containers. Here are our hot drinks flasks. If we go out anywhere, or if we were going to work, we would take our drinks with us. We had a hot drink to have on the train. We're going on a journey, we take flasks with us, cold drinks, hot drinks. But an essential part of your toolkit for your frugal home is that you will have drinks containers and food containers to take with you on a day trip or to go to work. Another part of your frugal toolkit that you'll need to have a frugal home so nothing goes to waste is you'll keep your eyes open for really good containers and you'll keep them so you can keep your pasta, your peas, your beans, your lentils all dry, they won't go off, they won't spill out in bags in the cupboard. You don't need to buy anything fancy because see here these are old sweetie containers and these are old food containers and these are obviously that one had peanut butter in and that one had jam in but they make great containers so you will keep really good jam jars really good plastic tubs and these i pick up in our local recycling center so more frugal toolkit another essential in a frugal home is some low energy, low cost form of cooking. It could be a slow cooker, it could be an instant pot, it could be a mini oven, it could be a pressure cooker, it could be a steamer. 
but something you will have is something that you will be able to use where you do not have to use your main oven or your main hob, it'll save you a load of money. I use an instant pot, other types of things are available, I'm not endorsing it, I'm not uh, advertising it and I'm not sponsored by it, but I use an instant pot, it's a really good thing to have in a frugal home. Some more essentials for a frugal home. You'll need some kind of containers to either freeze bulk cooking, to put something in the fridge to eat for tomorrow, so you don't waste food. I use these for freezing. I might make soups, stews, casseroles. I make them in advance, I make them in bulk, and then I freeze what I don't eat that day. But I also use it for freezing leftovers or just putting leftovers in the fridge to reheat them tomorrow. And these in particular are designed for reheating in the microwave, but you can also freeze in them. So essentials in the frugal home is something you can store leftovers in or bulk freeze in. another essential part of the frugal toolkit, an essential thing for a frugal home, are these domes. You can go over a plate. So you can put that with its dome on in the fridge and tomorrow you can reheat that. So what we often do is we might make a meal for one day and we eat it again the next day. So we plate it up, we put the dome over it we put it in the fridge and we just reheat it the next day. So part of that, an essential for a frugal home, would also be having a microwave. Another important essential in a frugal home is that we all have reusable shopping bags. We're not buying bags every time we go to the supermarket. Uh, here in France, there are no bags at the tills. You have to buy them. Uh, we buy these long life bags. They last for years and years and years. Saves us a fortune. We don't have to buy any bags. We always take them with us when we go to the supermarket. Another essential in a frugal home is you have some way of drying clothes affordably. Now outside, I of course have my washing line and I have clothes stands that I can put my clothes on and stand them in front of a window I could and do use my ceiling area to dry clothes. So that's a, you'll find that in most frugal homes. You'll find they air dry their clothes, either in front of the fire or outside in the sunshine. But I have been known to go out in a cold winter's day when it's not raining, but it's very blowy and hang my washing outside. Another part of our frugal toolkit is we will have clothes pegs or sometimes called clothes pins for hanging our washing outside. So there we are, another part 
of our Essential Frugal Toolkit. Some other essentials in your frugal toolkit. If you need it clean, if you need to get stains out, you'll find these in every frugal home. You will find vinegar for cleaning and bicarbonate of soda for cleaning. Cheap as chips, well, cheaper than chips. Get anything and everything clean. Now another essential you'll find in every frugal home. You'll find some kind of calendars, wall calendars, diary. You'll find they make sure that they plan in advance when things need to be done or things need to be paid for. You can print these off yourself and just put them on a clipboard. So a great frugal tool, a wall calendar. goes without saying. Every frugal home is going to need some notepads and pens because when you do your food inventory or an inventory of things you need around the house or you're going to do some goal setting you'll need to get them written down and you're never going to the supermarket without a shopping list. So you'll need a good supply of notepads and pens. home is complete without a meal plan. You can stick it on the wall, you can have a notepad in the kitchen, you can have it on a fridge or on a wipe on wipe off board. When there's no disputes or arguments about what we're having, it's up on the wall, that is what we are having this week. So you need some kind of menu plan, something to write it on, the family can see it, they know what they're having. There we are. You need something for your meal planning or menu planning. And last of all, and I think most importantly, the essential must have for a frugal home that saves you money is some kind of way of recording your budget and your spending where you set that every single month. We use a budget book to set all our expenses for the month when our bills are kind of come out but it's absolutely essential must have for every frugal home to save you money is some way of setting your budget and tracking your budget. you enjoyed that glimpse into our thrifty lives and how we save money every little way we can and every day. I have a question for you. What do you have in your essential frugal toolkit that saves you money? What is it? What is it in your home that you think that saves me money every single day? just leaves me to say thank you and in particular I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who lets the adverts roll when you watch a YouTube video because that's how the YouTube creators like Mike and I get paid from the Google AdSense and we genuinely genuinely appreciate that all those little pennies add up and give us an income so we're very very grateful 
We're grateful to everybody who leaves a comment. And most of all, thank you to everyone who gives it a like. We are growing this channel. We are loving this. We love sharing it with you, the feedback we get from you, the support we get from you, and the support that we can give you too. So thank you ever so much, everybody. And I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.